The U.S. flew B-1B Lancer aircraft escorted by F-15 warriors off North Korea's drift on Saturday in show of resolve, the Pentagon said. U.S. Flying Corps warplanes flew the nearest they have traveled to North Korea this century today in a show of power following Kim Jong-un's nuke and rocket tests. This is the most distant north of the demilitarized zone, DMZ, any U.S. warrior or plane airplane have taken off North Korea's drift in the 21st century, a Pentagon's representative said. North Korea's foreign minister hit back hours marking Trump as a rationally unhinged individual loaded with conceit who is holding the atomic catch. None other than Trump himself is on a suicide mission he included. RT reports. The planes took off from Okinawa, Japan and flew over the waters east of the Korean peninsula. This is the most distant north of the demilitarized zone, DMZ. Any U.S. warrior or plane flying machine have taken off North Korea's drift in the 21st century, underscoring the reality with which we take North Korea's neglectful conduct, said Pentagon Representative Dana White. The DMZ is a portion of land running over the Korean peninsula close to the 38th parallel, isolating North Korea from South Korea. It was made in 1953, after the peace negotiation which finished the Korean War. The B-1B Lancer key planes entered benefit in the mid-1980s. The plane was planned particularly as an aircraft entirely for an atomic war, along these lines having a constrained ability to convey ordinary bombs. Following the destruction of the Soviet Union, the part of an aircraft for simply atomic war wound up noticeably flawed, and the Lancer Armada was grounded. The planes inevitably experienced a progression of changes which reinforced their regular shelling limit, yet denied them of their atomic load. 